I saw something this morning that um, that piqued my interest uh, as I was just kind of going through um, just sort of my normal morning daily r routine. Um, I found an e-ink device that I thought was rather interesting. And um, just looking at this, it's called the Daylight. And it's supposed to be a 60 hertz uh, or 60 FPS uh, paper-like computer. So, you know, uh, so imagine, you know, something like a Node Air 3C where... You know, you would have your standard one, <laughs> one FPS, or I don't know, two FPS, five, I five F FPS. However, you know, the, the fastest is is not very fast. So, and it doesn't need to be for what its use case is for. So, I mean, page turns and all that. Um, you know, I really don't need to see the fancy animations um, on the screen when I'm turning the page, um, but. Um, but it is an interesting concept to think that e-ink has come to the place where um, we're now getting into a space uh, where we're talking about 60 frames per second on an e-ink device. Now, I watched the sort of uh, startup video for this, and the guy who is, I guess he's the C CEO of this of this new upcoming uh, startup, um, sort of he he was the inventor of this um i, I get the feeling that it's not true e-ink this is some type of e-ink slash lcd hybrid uh, but it's new technology anyway they invented it so that it could run at 60 fps without uh the eye strain so sort of getting the same benefits of e-ink without the uh, without the, the eye strain so that's, and that's the that's the, the goal of this. So, and I wanted to just kind of go through some of this. Uh, so, meet DC One, the 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 world's first 60 FPS paper like computer. And they're calling it a computer. They're not calling it a tablet, which I think is also very interesting. It's supposed to have its own OS. Um, so, you know, on, on display. Uh, super fast, like e-ink, but better. So, so it's not e-ink per se. Live paper feels like magic. It's super smooth scrolling interactions across all of your apps. We redefine the paper like display. Can do, so you can focus without compromise. So there's no ghosting, and it's of course a 60 FPS. A computer you can use outside. So. Um, I guess this is this comparison with the iPad, and this is the daylight computer. So I get this is the like the DC one I suppose is the code is like the the uh, probably the internal uh, code language for what this device is called. So the a daylight daylight computer so DC one. Um, so it's readable in the sunlight, softer on your eyes, flicker flicker free backlight and you can read for hours. Now I don't see anywhere where they're giving us any details on uh, what the battery life is like. So I would be interesting to see what that would look like in, in real time. So paper light finish. So that's where you get your uh, your paper, paper feel from uh, right on uh, right like on real paper with a matte finished textured surface that provide a natural tactile writing experience and a glare free notepad warmer so that I guess you can it's got a it's got a backlight so you can kind of make the color temperatures warmer uh, or cooler so I am interested in looking at the software for this it's Soul I uh, OS a distraction free operating system so not Android not Windows not anything else it's this new i guess their own proprietary software but the guy did mention that in the video when he was talking about uh creating this the making it more open so that people could create first party apps for this with you know using sort of the same apis that they've used 
you know, in Windows and Mac OS and Android and all this. So I don't know exactly how, what the back end of this operating system is, is going to look like or what that looks like, but it's quite interesting to see that, you know, right out of the gate, you've got all of these, you know, uh, applications on a completely different OS. I wonder if this is like, it's really just Android on the back end and, you know, uh, intentional simplicity, better reading experience, all of your content in one place, uh, your favorite third party apps. So yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, how are they doing this? Oh, okay. So all of your apps need in one place, install anything available on Android. So it's an Android backend. So that's what, that's what I thought. That's, that's what I wanted to know because in the video, he made it sound like, you know, they, they created this whole new operating system for this um for this thing to work but it, it sounds like to me they just you know put their own skin over an android operating system just like any other company would do really um so really what i would like to know is the screen on this or is the pen going to be like a wacom emr stylus because that was that's really where you get the best writing experiences with the at least from my testing, what I've what I've uh, done so far, uh, what I've experienced so far is that with a felt tip and EMR Wacom stylus is really the best writing experience um, on a on an e-ink device. So Wacom with a button, so it is Wacom. Great. Okay, I like I like that. Remove the tips for. I can't say that I'm a fan of the design language here. This looks more like a, you know, I don't, you know, if you guys remember the Pebble from like the early 2000s, like the, it was a small little phone and it was kind of oval shaped like this. This just looks like a blown up version of that. Um, uh, so not, I'm not a huge fan of the design language here, but, um, but at, you know, a 60 Hertz, you know, display for an e-ink device would be pretty cool. And then we get into the specs. So 1600 by 1200, 190 DPI. That's interesting, 190 DPI. Um, from the looks of it, this does look like it's going to be a black and white um, display. They're using MediaTek, okay. 128 gigabyte, eight gigabyte, gigabytes of RAM, 128 storage. So, and a live paper display is there. Um, is their trademark display for this? Um, does have speakers. It's got a microphone. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Type C. Okay. Uh, micro SD card slot. Android 13. So that's a new one. Android 13 for um, most of the e devices that we see now are uh, are on Android 11. So that'd be kind of cool to see that. I mean, for the order now, so let's look at the pricing for this. So they're on batch four. They've sold out of three batches already. Um, and batch four is 263 left. So you've got a uh, $729 price tag for this device, for a 10 inch e-ink display that will uh, run at 60 FPS. So um there you have it i just this was something that was so interesting to me that i saw today that i i it compelled me to make a video about it so what do you guys think um about having a 60 hertz e-ink display honestly i'm i'm still quite happy with uh with just the note air 3c and having you know uh, just five frames per second on here i mean it writes well it reads well it does just about everything that I want it to do. So, you know, will I, you know, put up the $729 for uh, uh, an e ink device that's 60 frame, 60 FPS? Probably not. But, um, but for those individuals who are in the market for an e ink device, would we'll probably see this as a very compelling uh, price price tag. Although, you know, it doesn't come with a case, I'm sure, I don't, does it come with the pen? You know, it doesn't say if it comes with the pen or comes with the case. Um, all you can pretty much order is the, 
Um, I wonder if I if I fake the checkout if it tells me what. Um, all right, so I I'm going to assume that you're just getting the device. You're not getting a case. Um, maybe you're getting the pen. I would hope for seven hundred and twenty nine dollar price tag that you're getting at least the pen with it, but. I don't know. Like, well, I guess that's that remains to be seen. I suppose when these things actually start floating around and people start making videos about it, you will see whether or not it comes with a pen. But it certainly isn't going to come with a case. No device comes with a case hardly these days. So that's not going to be it. But anyway, I, I just thought it was interesting. Um, yeah, feel free to comment on the uh, in the put the comments down below if you guys uh, are interested in this or you would be interested in seeing me review this thing and maybe if I you know grow this channel a little bit more like then maybe they'll send me one to uh, review so <laughs> we'll see uh, anyways thanks for watching guys take care